the biggest NFT headlines of 2022. In 2021, the excitement around NFTs could barely be contained. Headlines were glowing and frenzied, and art collections and virtual land plots sold fast. While this excitement and the market has cooled considerably, NFTs still make big news on a regular basis. Here's a look back at some of the most significant NFT stories of 2022. NFT markets take a 99% nosedive. In 2021, it seemed like everybody, including a number of big corporations and popular entertainers, was piling into NFTs and NFT-based virtual worlds. Mark Zuckerberg committed billions to Meta's virtual reality division and its Horizon Worlds metaverse. Fast forward from New Year's Day to September 2022, and NFT trading volume had cratered by 97%. By November, it was minus 99%. The crypto market capitalization plummeted by $2 trillion between November 2021 and July 2022. Yet NFTs fared even worse. Even once six-figure NFTs are down 99%. Starbucks selects Polygon for NFT and rewards program technology. In September 2022, Starbucks announced plans to launch the NFT-based Starbucks Odyssey program. This program builds on its existing Starbucks rewards and gives customers a chance to buy or earn experiences and rewards. Donald Trump promotes a plagiarized NFT collection. Donald Trump released an NFT collection via his Truth Social account, selling pictures of himself as fictional heroes for $99 apiece. Not surprisingly, many people hated them, but they still sold out. By December 20th, their value had tanked by more than 70%. Next, the collection got blasted for being nothing more than a series of poorly photoshopped images. PC Mag as well as Gizmodo Writer found evidence that the NFT's creators may have plagiarised some styles from fashion brands and even ripped images from clothing sections on Amazon. Madonna NFTs auction flops. In May 2022, preeminent NFT artist Beeple and pop legend Madonna collaborated to auction off three NFTs that imagined the singer as the mother of creation. Previous NFTs from Beeple fetched prices up to $69 million at auction. In stark contrast, her mother of creation NFT sold for just $135,000, $346,000 and $146,000. At the time, some people blamed the relatively low prices on the declining NFT market and the generally poor performance of digital asset markets. Others blasted the poor taste of the artwork used for the NFTs, which Madonna tried to defend. Seth Green forced to repurchase Bored Ape after theft. On May 17th, 2022, Seth Green admitted that he had lost four NFTs, including a blue chip Bored Ape and two mutant apes in what he says was a phishing attack. Somebody may have purchased one of the stolen NFTs before the information became public. He paid $297,000 to an NFT collector called Mr. Cheese to retrieve his Bored Ape. At the time, he had plans to use his NFTs for an animated show called White Horse Tavern. Nike sells NFT image of Sneaker for $134,000. In April 2022, Nike released an NFT collection called Crypto Kicks based on images of sneakers. One of them sold for $134,000 in May, despite criticism that it looked too much like a cynical money grab that didn't even provide buyers with a pair of physical Nike sneakers. Chevrolet auctions off Corvette NFT. Chevrolet fared better than some brands, auctioning a Corvette NFT that actually came with a car, specifically a lime green 2023 Corvette Z06. Chevy promised that the car would be the only one painted in that colour to represent the unique nature of the NFT. NFT rug pull plotters face charges after making headlines. As is typical in the crypto space, the NFT niche was inundated with scams and rug pulls. In 2022, a few of the ruggers faced the potential for criminal convictions. On March 24th, 2022, law enforcement authorities arrested two people behind the Frosties NFT rug pull on charges of conspiracy to commit fraud and money laundering. 
On June 30th, the Department of Justice filed charges against six people involved in the Baller Ape Club scam, including founder Lee Antoine. Law enforcement authorities may still be investigating some NFT rug pulls like Big Daddy Ape Club, which pulled the rug after selling its collection on Civic. Civic personnel said that they were working with authorities on the case. Board Ape Yacht Club creator sues Copycat. Board Ape Yacht Club creator Yuga Lab sued an artist in a Los Angeles court, alleging that the artist copied the Board Apes. Yuga Labs alleges that the artist Ryder Rips went too far under the guise of satire and that he caused confusion and attempted to smear the reputation of bored apes by painting them as Nazis. In a statement on a website owned by Rips, he claims that the work that includes bored apes was an attempt to recontextualize the bored ape artwork. Minecraft denies plans to support NFTs. Minecraft was labelled as one of the video games to watch for an NFT announcement throughout 2022. Everyone wanted to get in on a potential Minecraft NFT. However, the announcement never came. Instead, Minecraft developer Mojang denied that it had any plans to integrate NFTs, saying that all Minecraft players should have access to the same content. Mojang also reiterated that independently owned Minecraft servers were not permitted to integrate blockchain technology or NFTs. For more informed news, follow us on Twitter and Google News, or listen to our investigative podcast, Innovated Blockchain City.